Scott Anissi. I'm a lecturer in the School of Public Health and Primary Care for the discipline of epidemiology. Online learning is something that I think there's definitely a need for. And I think with today's society, with kids moving more and more towards technological advances, you know, with smartphones and things like that, I think it's something that there's a need. And there's definitely people out there that really would like to explore the options there. I think it provides a virtual tool. To allow us to really expand the types of learning, I think one of the main advantages to online learning is that we learn more about the learning styles of our students. Traditionally, especially a brick and mortar style, looking at the in classroom, it's usually just one style of learning. And students have to learn or, or absorb all the material at the given time. One of the main advantages looking at online learning is that you can see that maybe it takes more for some students and maybe learning different ways and learning styles, really adapting that and seeing how they absorb the information is one thing that I think online teaching can provide certainly different ways. And I think for that, it allows them to learn when they want to learn, when it's best suited for them to learn during the time of day, and it allows more flexibility. On that note though, one of the disadvantages is that you do see a drop off in, in attention spans. You know, it, it may be difficult for some. Um, outside of technological um, disadvantages like internet, um, some software issues, even some device hardware issues, I think the teacher may not be accessible when they have questions. And so that, that, that may be a hindrance to them. And I know, in terms of motivation, it's difficult for some students to really get going. And once they get behind, it's a lot harder to, to get ahead because they have to go back through the materials and learn it. And it's a different lifestyle. With learning different things and, and, and learning new things of, uh, in, in life, it's, it's an adaptation thing. And I think over time, students as well as uh, conveners will be able to adapt themselves to deliver a better product and to help uh, explore learning possibilities. I think if, if you schedule your lectures and you have your delivery as conveners, you also want to put the, the students ahead and have them focus on their student guided learning. That way, it's fun for them. They, ner they learn a new um, they learn a new experience, they get to call Zoom meetings, they get to fully explore how Zoom works, they get to explore how the Moodle work platform works, and you really try and have them guide their learning. If, if they feel that they're responsible more for their learning, and they feel that they're going to be able to, to guide their learning, it really helps with that motivation factor, and it really helps them to be able to want to learn more and to explore this option even more. I think the biggest lesson learned is that there's a variety of learning styles, you know, and although there may not be a box cut or a, or a mold for one style of learning that's going to reach everyone, online learning provides an avenue for those that reinforces your the in-classroom work, but also provides flexibility for those that are really into the online learning experience. It also provides those that learn differently by watching videos, by doing different things, by doing different different tutorials instead of just the, the in-classroom hands-on. It allows those with different learning styles to be able to really fully explore their learning abilities. It also allows conveners to be able to fully explore their delivery systems. You know, when, when you're delivering lectures face-to-face -face. there's a lot of things that you don't realize that you do there may be some questions that you don't fully explore there there even may be some topics that you don't fully explore but having the option of re-watching your own lectures and going back over your own material really allows you to get better as the course progresses and also allows you to connect deeper with the students by engaging the questions more and really figuring out what topics and what discussion areas that you really need to cover.
some of the feedback, you know, it's, it's, it's been really mixed feedbacks uh, from the students. Some really, really like the Moodle platform, some really like the delivery. But I think the experience for, for most is kind of dampened by the fact that there's a lot of technical issues that need to be sorted before you can fully connect. And so some, they have slow download rates, uh, some can attend live lectures because of internet issues or access to laptops, with which we, we addressed by um, looking at different materials to be sent and emails and things like that. So exploring that, but I think overall, it's a, it's a new experience. And with every new experience working out the kinks, students have really shown that there's an appetite for it, that they've really shown that there there is a real need to have blended modes um, at the very least, or maybe fully online uh, modes, but there is an appetite out there in the student community to be able to utilize this type of technology.